I'm Srinidhi Vardarajan, SVP of Solutions at Fungible. Today we are truly excited to unveil the first incarnation of the Fungible Data Center, or FDC as it is colloquially called. It's been years in the making, waiting for new technologies to be invented, and today is the day when it all comes together. Before we delve into the Fungible Data Center, let's take a look at modern data centers. Today, they consist of servers of many types. You have servers without local storage using shared SANs, many different kinds of servers with locally attached storage, each with a different amount of local storage. You have servers without storage and with GPUs, servers with local storage and GPUs, the list goes on and on. These server configurations arose because different workloads demand different configurations, with each workload running within a silo configured to its exact needs. The problem here is now obvious. Marooning data center resources into many small silos causes a balkanization of the data center and results in poor utilization. For those so technically inclined, you're losing the benefits of statistical multiplexing when you create a lot of small silos. If a workload needs additional compute resources, you can't just take a server from another silo and reuse it. You have to open it and change the physical configuration by adding, removing, storage, NICs, or GPUs, which as we all know, is seldom done. In essence, the data center has become a static container for many siloed workloads and cannot react to changing workload conditions. Over the last decade and a half, virtualization provided a simple abstraction to encapsulate just the resources needed to run a workload. And the simplicity of management that this gave drove its adoption both on-prem and in the cloud. But it came at a significant cost in performance. The last several years have seen the advent of big data, AI, ML, and container workloads that prefer to run directly on bare metal without any performance penalty. Any new data center architecture must be able to provide the simplicity benefits of virtualization without sacrificing performance. The last few years have seen a slew of security vulnerabilities that broadly fall into two categories. The first category is site channel attacks, Spectre, Meltdown, the Rohammer family, where a vulnerable surface is exposed by sharing a server among workloads belonging to different tenants. The second surface is the control plane for networking and storage on the x86, which gets exposed by any penetration attack on the server and it results in attackers commandeering the control plane for nefarious purposes. Any modern infrastructure needs to create independent domains in hardware to separate the control and data planes such that any compromise of the x86 server still prevents attackers from even accessing the control plane. We built the Fungible Data Center to handle exactly these issues. The Fungible Data Center is a comprehensive turnkey solution offering multi-tenant secure data centers that deliver bare metal performance at the cost efficiencies and simplicity of hyperscaler data centers. The foundational enabling technology making this possible is the Fungible Data Processing Unit or the Fungible DPU, which provides hardware accelerated offload of networking, storage, and security functions. So what exactly do you get with our solution when we ship you a fungible data center. Let's take a look at a fungible data center rack from top to bottom. At the top of the rack, you have industry standard top of the rack ethernet switches for data and management networks. 100 gig ethernet for data and one to 10 gig for management. Going down the rack, you have a set of industry standard diskless servers, each with CPUs and memory and a fungible FC, Data Services Platform, PCIe card. Storage is provided by the Scale-Out Fungible Storage Cluster, FSC, which was launched last October. The FSC comprises a cluster of FS1600 storage nodes, each powered by two fungible F1 DPUs. The FSC provides a sea of storage with complete storage services, data redundancy, data reduction, data security, and quality of service at a per volume granularity. Finally, 
We have the data center composer, which is a comprehensive software stack that can be used to build custom environments that are tailored to the exact needs of each workload by composing the server, storage, networking, and GPU resources needed from pools. If you recall, I had mentioned that each server has a fungible data services platform card in it. So what exactly is it? The fungible data services platform card is a PCIe card powered by the S1 DPU that presents itself as a standard dual port Ethernet controller. And it was designed from the ground up to enable composition at the hardware level. It's available in three flavors, 2 by 25 gig Ethernet ports, 2 by 50 gig Ethernet ports, and 2 by 100 gig Ethernet ports. What sets the data services platform card apart is that it completely offloads networking, storage, and security functions to hardware in the fungible S1 DPU's silicon. It presents remote storage as local with all the storage services available flexibly on a per volume basis. It presents virtual NICs with complete hardware offload, and in doing so, it frees over 50% of the x86 CPU cycles for use by application workloads. Most importantly, having the S1 DPU on each server and the F1 DPU in storage arrays enables the use of fungible true fabric, which guarantees low tail latency under load, and more importantly, predictable variation in latency under load, basically predictable jitter, without which no data center composition system can scale beyond a rack level. Now that we have shown you a fungible data center rack, a question to ask here is, what exactly are we composing? Composition happens at various levels. For instance, you can compose an environment of virtual machines or containers for your workload to run on. The goal here has always been to create in software an object that can hold user-specified physical resources, such as CPUs, uh, some local storage, uh, some memory, uh, access to networks, and devices. But that comes with a performance impact when it is done in software. So why shouldn't real hardware behave directly like this? The new frontier here is in composing custom servers directly from bare metal hardware without any software running on the x86. Even in bare metal, one way to achieve composition is by presenting remote PCIe devices, such as uh, physical disks um, and physical NICs locally. The problem with this approach is that you still have to provide storage services, like redundancy, compression, thin provisioning, and all of that happens slowly in software, eliminating all of the performance gains that have happened in modern NVMe storage hardware. The fungible data center is not just about bare metal composition. That is passe. It's about composing metal and hardware accelerated services the way hyperscalers do to gain efficiencies. In the fungible data center, uh, we compose servers not with raw disks, but with volumes that provide all standard storage services, including selectable redundancy levels, uh, data reduction and data security at line rate performance, and so on. We compose virtual NICs that are attached to networks that themselves are composed. And we accelerate it in hardware using the fungible DPU silicon, yielding industry's leading performance all on industry standard 100G Ethernet. Best of all, since our composition is in bare metal, it is transparent to any workload on the x86 processor. What we have built is a composable data center with the infrastructure services enjoyed by hyperscale data center operators at a performance and price point that enables its use across data centers of all sizes. So what does the data center composer software do? So the fungible data center software, or the composer, is a comprehensive bare metal composition, provisioning, management, and orchestration solution. In essence, we are bringing you all the technologies and efficiencies that hyperscalers enjoy at their scale, now at any scale, from half a rack to hundreds of racks. The first thing that the data center composer software composes is bare metal servers, where you specify a server by its characteristics, cores, memory, a certain number of disks, each with their own capacity, redundancy, quality of service, NICs attached to networks, and so on, 
based on the exact needs of your workload. It does this not just for individual servers, but entire scale-out clustered workloads, where it can deploy the entire workload in minutes and configure it with cloud-native technologies like CloudInit. Next, it can partition resources across multiple tenants and isolate them. So you have multi-tenancy built in with the associated role-based access control. Third, it has an integrated network controller to create, deploy, and manage overlay networks. And optionally, you can use any industry standard network controller without losing any other FDC functionality. Finally, like any modern infrastructure, it has a marketplace to publish and deploy complex applications from templates. So who are the target customers that can benefit from this technology? In the first category, we have service providers that provide cloud, edge, telco services that in many cases uh, compete with hyperscalers. FDC provides market-leading efficiency, agility, performance, and security, enabling service providers to offer infrastructure services much more cost-effectively and at much better performance than hyperscalers, and they can achieve this on workloads at any scale. In the next category, we have enterprise customers where FDC provides simplicity and a future-proof infrastructure that can handle the most demanding workloads with full data security on premises. The simplicity of the FDC platform enables its operation by general IT staff, with the marketplace providing repeatable infrastructure as code deployments. The agility of just-in-time composition enables enterprise data centers to rapidly react to changing business and workload conditions. Finally, we have research labs and universities that run cutting-edge, high-performance applications. Here, FDC provides a high-performance, bare-metal environment tailored to their workloads that can be managed by IT generalists and that grows scalably with their needs. FDC is well-suited for high-performance workloads in AI, machine learning, analytics, high-performance computing, example, computational fluid dynamics, structural analysis, financial algorithms and fintech, biosciences, video processing and video analytics, edge computing, and IoT. So what are some of the benefits of FTC? First, you can deploy entire multi-tenanted data centers with a single pane of glass for management, leading to operational simplicity and ease of use. By providing the ability to redeploy compute, storage, and networking resources within minutes, businesses can rapidly react to changing conditions, leading to operational agility. All this is achieved with market-leading bare-metal performance that is enabled by fully offloading data processing to the fungible DPU, freeing up expensive x86 cores for applications. FDC scales from half a rack to hundreds of racks to handle the most complex data center deployments. From an ROI perspective, FDC offers three distinct advantages. First, it reduces the number of SKUs in a minim to a minimal set, gaining economies of scale and management simplicity. Next, disaggregation and pooling of server, storage, network, and GPU resources enable higher utilization under changing workload demands. Finally, from an ROI perspective, just-in-time composition of independent compute, storage, network, and GPU resources optimizes consumption to exactly meet workload requirements with no wastage. FDC is transparent to workloads, thereby enabling complex scale-out workloads to be deployed with no application changes. Finally, FDC provides independent hardware-accelerated security domains, fine-grained segmentation, a robust quality of service system, line rate encryption to secure all workloads running on it. And it is not just us that believe uh, in the benefits of FTC. Look at what customers are asking from the next generation of data center infrastructure. Simplicity, such that general IT staff can easily manage the ever-increasing complexity of data centers. Improved utilization of compute and storage resources to most effectively meet business goals within a fixed cost profile. Agility to rapidly react to changing business and workload demands performance to meet the needs of data-hungry applications, and finally, faster and repeatable deployments of systems and workloads in a DevOps-centric world. 
FDC was built from the ground up to solve these challenges, with not just point solutions, but looking at the data center as a whole. It's the most flexible, performant, and secure way to build future-proof data centers that react instantly to changing workload conditions. And this is the future we are inevitably headed to. For the next section, let me hand off to Dr. Parda Paila, a master designer and VP of product solutions and design at Fungible, who I've had the pleasure of working with for many, many years.